Cauchy's mean value theorem states that if we have two functions f and g that are continuous on a closed interval a, b and are differentiable on the open interval a, b, then there must be a point c between a and b at which f prime of c times g of b minus g of a equals g prime of c times f of b minus f of a. Now, if the derivative of g is not zero on the open interval, then we can rearrange this equality to get f prime of c over g prime of c being equal to f of b minus f of a over g of b minus g of a. Cauchy's mean value theorem can be viewed as a mean value theorem for curves. Let me explain what I mean. When you draw a curve in the xy plane, the tip of your pen, its coordinates, its x and y coordinates can be represented by two functions of time, x as g of t and y as f of t. Now the endpoints have coordinates g of a, f of a, and g of b, f of b. Therefore, the slope of the line that connects the endpoints on the curve is equal to f of b minus f of a, the rise, over the run, g of b minus g of a. What Cauchy's mean value theorem guarantees is that there will be at least one moment in time, c, at which the curve will have a tangent line that is parallel to that line that connects the endpoints on the curve. So this line, for example, will have a slope that is equal to f prime of c over g prime of c. So this is at time c, and this slope will be equal to the slope of that line connecting the endpoints on the curve. G Let me give you one more remark about Cauchy's th mean value theorem. Namely, if the curve is a graph of a function, meaning that g of t is equal to t, and then x, y is t and f of t, so we have the graph of the function f in this case, then Cauchy's mean value theorem becomes the mean value theorem as that, and that you can easily check that uh, using the formulas here. Okay, this is enough for now. Let's solve a problem. Confirm that the functions f of t equals t cubed over 3 minus t and g of t equals t squared meet the criteria of Cauchy's mean value theorem over the closed interval between negative 1 and positive 2 and find a number c that satisfies the conclusion of Cauchy's mean value theorem. So pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I found this value to be 1, c equals 1. First, uh, let's just check, check the criteria of Cauchy's mean value theorem. Well, both of these functions are polynomials, polynomial functions, therefore they are continuous and differentiable everywhere. So they are continuous on the closed interval between negative 1 and 2, and they are uh, differentiable on the open interval between negative 1 and 2. So Cauchy's mean value theorem applies to this pair of functions. And so let's compute then the uh, slope of the line connecting the endpoints of the curve made up by these two functions in the xy plane. So we need uh, the value, the endpoint values of f and g. So f at negative 1 will be negative 1 cubed over 3 minus negative 1. So that will be negative 1 third plus 1, that is 2 thirds, whereas f at 2 will give us 2 cubed over 3 minus 2, so that's 8 over 3 minus 2, which is 6 over 3, so again we get 2 thirds. Whereas the endpoint values of g, that is g at negative 1, is just negative 1 squared, that's 1, whereas g at positive 2 is 2 squared, which is 4. Let's compute also the derivatives of the two functions, so f prime of t by the rules of differentiation, namely the power rule and the difference rule and the constant multiple rule, will be t squared minus 1, whereas the derivative of g, as we know, the derivative of t squared is 2t. Now Cauchy's mean value theorem states that there will be a point at which this equation is uh, solved, this is f prime of t uh, times the endpoint values for g, the difference of the endpoint values of g times g prime of t times
times the difference of end, difference of end point values for f. Now, the left hand side of this equation is t squared minus 1 multiplied by the difference of endpoint values for g, so that's 4 minus 1, that is 3, whereas g prime of t is 2t, multiplied by the difference of endpoint values for f, 2 thirds minus 2 thirds, so that is 0. The right hand side is therefore 0, so we are looking for t, that is a solution of this equation, so t squared minus 1 must be 0, t must be plus or minus 1, and out of these two values is only t equals 1 that is inside the open interval between negative 1 and 2. Therefore, the value for c is 1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.